Diddy caused Jennifer Lopez's divorce. Her ex-husband is speaking out, girl. Ooh, things are getting messy, honey. We got to talk about that and a lot more. But before we get into it, hello, my name is Sebastian, and I spill pop culture tea videos every single day. So, girl, if you're looking for a new messy best friend, honey, you have found me. I'm covering all things Diddy, Kardashians, Jennifer Lopez, the Biebers, you name it, girl, I'm covering it. So hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Listen, girl, what a damn mess. What a damn mess. I don't know what in the la, 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 la is going on here. So, Ohani Noah, Jennifer Lopez's first husband, has spoken out quite a lot lately, girl. The first thing he did was post a list of Diddy's alleged uh, celeb guest list for these famous white parties. And he literally put an error pointing at Jennifer Lopez's name, okay? This man is out here causing a mess. And I am serving it all up to you guys. Listen, so it says here that um, Jennifer Lopez's ex-husband, Ohani Noah, has partly blamed Sean Diddy Combs for the pair's divorce. During an appearance on Despierta America, Noah lifted the lid on the demise of the pair's short-lived marriage, which lasted from 1997 to 1998. When asked about the pair's breakup, Noah declared, part of the divorce was Diddy's fault. Uh, quote, when Sony came and paid her millions, she got, she got, there was Puffy Combs, who was going to be one of the producers of several tracks on her first album, On the Six. Um, there were, that's where the deception, the lies, the separation started. <gasps> the deception, the lies, the separation. Girl, that, that could be a damn movie title. He continued, I was in Los Angeles opening my restaurant and she was between Miami and New York working on the album. Quote, when I could, I would go to be with her. There in that distance, in that separation was where the deception started. Noah added about his divorce. Elsewhere in the interview, Noah alleged that the demise of the pair's ill-fated marriage uh, marred his career and sabotaged his chance at several jobs. Quote, I would ask Jennifer, what did I do to you so that you have taken me to court? You have accused me, you have lied, you have created false things about me, and you have called several companies to throw me out and different television networks not to give me work. Quote, why? If I, if I have not done anything to you, let her tell the truth. Let her tell everything that happened, he added. Um, said, also says here that Lopez had dated uh, Combs from 1999 to 2001. Several photos during the pair's romance have resurfaced in light of Combs' legal uh, drama. So first of all, let me tell you something. I also saw another large part of the interview, which I'll tell you now because it's, it is in Spanish. Um, so basically, he... he he talks about how um, he would see Jennifer Lopez and Diddy on like magazine covers and he would see them like on, you know, newspaper, like, you know, their photo together. And he would call them, you know, call Jennifer and be like, girl, uh, are you and Diddy actually dating? And she would like deny it and say, no, we're just friends. This and then she goes, but I'm literally seeing you guys together. So allegedly she cheated on Noah, Ohani Noah with Diddy. Um, you know, I will say this, you know, girl, listen, I'm all about a paycheck, but this man, this man needs to write a book. He needs a reality show. Keeping up with Ohani. Listen, he needs to get, you guys remember that first, uh, the movie first wives club. You guys remember you don't own me. You, you, you are or, or like bridesmaids, but he needs to get like Jennifer Lopez exes and they need to make like a reality show, girl. I mean, it would be like the new keeping up with the Kardashians bitches, but listen, some people are saying that they don't believe him. Some people are saying that, you know, that he's up for a quick paycheck. Um, um, girl, listen, when he posted that uh, guest list of Diddy's party, I was like, ay, Dios mío, como la flor, what is going on here? She actually, if you guys didn't know, she contacted him when he, when she was married to her second husband, Chris Judd, she wanted to open up a restaurant called Madres here in Los Angeles. Well, because he's he has opened up restaurants before, 
she contacted him and he was like, hey, do you want to work here in this restaurant with me? Like, do you want to help open in it? And we'll give you a 200,000 salary a year. And after six months, we will double it, allegedly. That's what allegedly she told him. Well, the six months came and gone and he didn't get nothing, girl. And he took her to court. They settled. You know, she gave him like a, a cerevance. What is it called? A, a surveillance? Uh, you know, uh, uh, money when you when you get fired you know the one i'm talking about a uh, servants sir, servants sir, servants servants pay i think that's what it's called but anyways girl so listen right so he's been also wanting to like write a doc uh put out a documentary but allegedly jennifer lopez is not allowing him because allegedly he has some tapes of them and they jennifer lopez and the team claims that allegedly they are sex tapes but he is saying that they're not sex tapes now listen he, the reason he put out the Diddy list on his Instagram and aired her name was because allegedly he he was kept being asked, hey, like, did you go to these parties? Did you have anything to do with these parties? Like, you know, what really happened at these parties? And, you know, he got allegedly he got tired of people asking him on the street. And the, I don't know if I believe that girl. Like, I don't know really if I believe that he is that big, you know, to be stopped in the in the middle of the street and asked about these parties by fans and, and being like, oh, overwhelmed with messages like i'm not sure about that but okay girl that's what you say but um so he said he got so tired of it so he just thought that you know what let me put a list of these uh, you know alleged guest lists of the people that attended diddy's party so people can see that my name was not on there and jennifer lopez's name was on there do i think that ohani noah is doing some sort of things for attention probably but I do think that he has a story to tell. I mean, Jennifer Lopez was part of his life. You know, they worked together. They were romantic together. She traveled to Cuba to meet his family. I mean, they were in a very serious relationship. If you guys didn't know how they met, um, he was a waiter in a restaurant. And she, um, I guess she asked him like, uh, you know, what did you just serve that other table? And he goes, the fries. And she goes, oh, they look good. So she gave, he gave her some fries. And then he came, she came back like two or three times. And she would always ask for him. And that's sort of how they like started dating. So, you know, he has a story to tell. You know, it's part of his story about making it, about becoming an entrepreneur. And, you know, Jennifer Lopez was part of that story. So I definitely feel like, you know, he should be allowed to tell that story. But I also think that the Diddy list thing was... It was so like, I mean, it was perfect for us, girl, because it's messy as fuck. But girl, that did not help. You know, that did not help him to convince J-Lo to allow him to do a documentary and be in her good terms. Like that probably just kind of like, you know, shut every ounce of possibility. But I'm, I, listen, I don't know about you guys, but like, oh, honey, if you want me to produce it, no, I'm just kidding. But I just, I feel like it, that really, oh, honey, Noah just caused like, you know, a whole new wave of attention on him. And there's so many people wanting interviews and wanting to, you know, to get the full tea, get the full, you know, the full gossip about it. I'm just like, girl, the stories that this man, you know, must have about Miss Jennifer Lopez. I'm like, oh, honey, call me, girl, call me um and you know he's kind of cute too girl he's kind of cute uh but listen what do we think about this let me know in the comments about you know j-lo allegedly cheating with diddy on 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 her you know first husband and now the uh, the new rumors is that diddy also had a play in her divorce with ben affleck allegedly because suge knight uh, is said that allegedly the fbi gave a tape that they found in diddy's raid to ben affleck and then he saw it and then that is what caused the divorce to happen i mean it's such a damn mess of course it's all alleged but I mean, damn, you know, Diddy has been there throughout all her life, just, you know, allegedly causing all, all t types of shit to make her act so fucking crazy. Uh, but anyways, girl, what do we think about this? Let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so much. I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of you. <clears throat> of course, J-Lo has not spoken out about this. She hasn't confirmed or denied any of these allegations. Um, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of pictures that, you know, you can find of J-Lo and, and Diddy maybe like before they officially allegedly started dating. Um, well, no, they actually did date, so I don't have to say allegedly date, but, uh, but yeah, I don't know, girl, what do we think? Let me know in the comments. This is so messy, but I'm sure Ohani Noah has a lot more interviews in the works. Call me. Anyways, I love you all, and I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah.